HT Zero has been out for a while now and it's pretty freaking cool. But to experience its glory, you have to buy or build a drone of this size for two reasons. One, because the VTX was a little bit larger and two, because said VTX required a 2S power source or greater. That meant drones like the Mobile S6 were left out in the cold. Sad face. <laughs> Well, HT Zero heard our concerns and came up with a solution that was very simple yet effective by offering a VTX that was smaller, lighter, and could be powered by a 1S power source. So let's take a closer look at this Whooplite VTX camera combo and see if it's right for you. Okay, so here it is, the Whooplite VTX, pretty straightforward. It has the HD Zero on here, DeviMath, obviously the manufacturer here, and just some QR codes here. So let's open this up and see what's inside. I have my boxing knife here. Just remove this plastic casing and get this puppy open. All right, so let's get this cover off. Wow, really nice presentation here, guys. And you can see right here, it's etched in the aluminum here or this alloy here. It says HD Zero Whoop Light. Wow, a lot of details in here. So a lot of laser, I guess, uh, etched in this aluminum plate here. And then you have the camera here just looking at you. So pretty cool. So let's get this stuff out of here. This thing is super light, guys. Holy cow, it's like nothing's on here. There's your VTX and here's your camera. This thing seems so tiny, guys. Wow. Okay, um, looks like you have some stickers in here. You have a zip lock bag here with a lot of connections here. It looks like a zip tie, some wires here to connect the VTX to your flight controller, a MIPI cable, which is good, that's included. And it looks like you have a linear antenna on here and then you have some gummies. Actually, the other Whoop VTX uh, doesn't accept these gummies, so that's a pretty good and welcome change. Below here, you have a zip lock bag with a cover for the camera. And I've learned the hard way that um, these things should be installed. Uh, I had a little incident where a little splash of water got on these connections and yeah, my uh, drone went down. All right, so let's take a closer look at this VTX here. The first thing I noticed here is just the size of it, how light it is, guys. But I just did a build and had to use a Whoop VTX. And the first thing that's obvious are these holes right here. This looks like a 25 and a half by 25 and a half mounting solution, but the big thing here is that these holes are a little bit larger to accept the rubber uh, mounting gummies to install into your flight control. That's pretty cool. The other traditional whoop, you just had to put the gummies below or on top for insulation. So this is a better design for sure. You have this shielding here. I don't think that's required. You can remove this and you can make this obviously lighter. Another thing here, you have these connections here. They're all well spaced and they're larger. The big thing here that's different though than the traditional Whoop uh, VTX is this S right here. This VTX does have smart audio, so if you wanna uh, intertwine that into your flight controller for beta flight, then you can do that. Here's your connection here for your MIP cable, really nice. And the port here, the update port here is significantly smaller. So let's see if we have a cord. Actually, there is a cord for that, so I didn't miss that. You have an adapter here to convert from that smaller size to a larger size. So pretty cool. Can I get this aluminum case removed? I don't want to do any damage, obviously, but I do want to remove it. This should work as well. This is very thin. There you go. Yeah, I was right. You just pop it off. Now this shield here does a multiple things. This thing here shields obviously to protect the electronics on here, obviously from dust or moisture. And it's also, a, it could be a signal shield as well, but it's here predominantly here for protection of this VTX. But if you're gonna install this into a smaller drone, every little ounce, you know, does cost. So it does mean something. So you can actually take this off. It's gonna be a pain in the butt. Now this is obviously very, very light. This thing is amazing, you know, man. Debbie Math and HD Zero is doing a good job. Now, on the website, this thing here is supposed to weigh four and a half grams, very, very light. So let's take a look and see what my scale says. My scale isn't accurate to the 10th, so it may not show as accurate as possible, but let's put it on here and see what it says. All right, so six grams is what it is. I think that's a better representation of what they're advertising, but still, that's pretty, pretty light, guys. Now, the camera here, let's take a look at that. This is super tiny, guys. Wow, it is impressive how small they can make this. And from what I've seen, the image quality is really, really good, guys. So 
This thing weighs only a gram and a half and it probably won't even register on this scale. Let's see here. So I don't have the most specific scale, obviously. It's shown zero grams. Obviously we don't weigh something. If your goal is to make the lightest drone and you wanna go digital, I mean, there's nothing out there on the market currently like this. Now, HT Zero has a comparison chart showing the specifications and comparing this to the original Whoop VTX. I'll leave it on the screen so you can take a look at it. Now, this entire Whoop Light VTX and camera combo looks really nice and very promising for your one to three S builds, guys. And that's a really cool thing and hopefully a sign of things to come with buying them flies and RTF kits in the future. Hopefully manufacturers pick this up and integrate this technology into their small ops. And as I said, their RTF kits, given, you know, beginner pilots a better experience when it comes to drones and having a choice with digital options. This is really cool. Now, what about my Lightwoop VTX? What do I have planned for this? Well, that's a really good question. Well, I've been acquiring parts over the time to do a 1S build, and this Lightwoop VTX was the last or the missing piece for that build. I have these parts right here, and hopefully I can generate or make a 1S whoop with a digital or HD0 VTX in here. So I have a few options here. I have my flight control, I have my motors here, and I have a few frames and canopies. So I have a lot of choice to see where I wanna go with this build. So if you wanna see how to construct and build a 1S HT0 build or drone, here's your video right here. Hit that subscribe button there for you to be notified whenever I do start making those videos. Now, if you want more information on HD0 and how it works, and one component you need to get this system going, I've done multiple videos on how to set up HD0. I'll leave this video linked right here. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.